and welcome to 2013. And welcome to my new series of videos, Short Review is Short. This is a series in which I review things, books, movies, etc. in less than two minutes. Just for the record, um, this intro here doesn't count as part of the two minutes, so they're meh. Nah. Okay, so the book I'll be reviewing today is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I chose this book because I read it recently, and the film adaptation of this book is in cinemas pretty much everywhere now, and everybody's hyped about it, so I thought I may as well join the bandwagon and review the book. Published in the UK by Vintage London in 2012, Warm Bodies is a mix between Shakespearean love and the classic zombie genre. It is a first-person novel from the point of view of a zombie called R. Of course, being a zombie, he can only remember one letter of his name. He recounts the activities of himself and other zombies in an airport around the outskirts of a city. He tells stories of zombie love and zombie children in zombie schools and zombie church and religion. While raining a skyscraper on a hunting trip to the city, he eats the brain of one Perry Kelvin. Of course, being a zombie means that you, when you eat the brain, you get flashbacks of emotions and memories of that person, like a drug, which is something I don't really like about this book, but I'll tell you more about that later. In the flashbacks, he sees Julie, a beautiful girl whom Perry had been dating for quite some time before R comes along and kills him. Naturally, seeing all these flashbacks about Julie makes R want to protect Julie, and so he does, and protects her, and keeps her away from other zombies, and then the story evolves from there. This story is fantastic, it's brilliant, it's funny, however, it does get weaker towards the end. The beginning is fantastic, the descriptions of the airport is wonderful, the interactions between Julie and R towards the middle are great, and the end is a, a great battle scene, however, on the whole, it is the airport scenes before he meets Julie are my favourite. The problem with this book, zombies of course is a more science fiction-y thing than a fantasy thing, while well, this book treads the line between science fiction and fantasy, and that's where I have the problem, I think it's a bit too fantasyful and, and a not enough sort of zombie-ish, but yet it's still very good, and I will give it four clocks. Do you get it? Because the clocks, because um, my channel name is 24 hours a year. One Bodies by Isaac Marion. There is a link down in my trousers down there, um, so you can buy it from the book depository, or whatever. You can buy it wherever you want, but the book depository is a really good place to buy it, because they got it, like, cheap. They got everything cheap. The book depository is awesome, and it's free shipping. I'm not being paid. Although, Book Depository, if you're watching, I'm perfectly willing to take any of your money, anything you throw at me. Free books, I don't care. Just throw some stuff at me. By the way, the two minutes has ended. That's that's why I'm taking my time to talk. Yeah. But anyway, if you have any suggestions of future books, movies, games, music, anything, you, television shows that you want me to watch and review, please leave them either down there in the comment section, on Facebook, or Twitter, or on my Tumblr page, which are all linked down in the doobly-doo. So yeah, I will see you guys later, and goodbye!